Who doesn't love to go to the thrift store and find some true treasures to bring home and make into some beautiful home decor? And that's what we're going to do in today's video. I'm going to show y'all some things that I found and how I upcycle them to make some beautiful home decor to put in my home. I'm also going to show y'all at the end of the video. So if you want to see a thrift store shopping trip stay to the end because i'm going to put some extra footage in this week just as a bonus so you can go shopping along with me so let's get started the first project i'm going to upcycle is going to be this dough bowl i purchased this for two dollars now this dough bowl is really long but it's also really skinny and you can see that it's got a really natural wood tone to it now I'm going to add a little bit of dark stain to it. Now to make my stain, I'm just going to mix some really inexpensive craft paint. This is burnt umber. You can purchase this at Walmart in the craft section and it's about 50 cents to a dollar a bottle. Add a little water to it, water it down, and I'm going to apply it to my dough bowl on the top and also on the bottom. Once my stain was dry, I'm going to go over it now with a product called Crackle Medium. I will have this link to my Amazon store, but this is a great product to use to get a good crackle finish. To get large crackle and a lot of crackle, you want to apply this really thick. If you want less crackle, then you'll want to use less product. Once it all dries and it takes anywhere from a few minutes if you use a blow dryer or a heat gun, but if you just let it set up to dry by air, it will probably take about an hour. Once the crackle medium is dry, then you want to apply your paint. Now the trick with the paint is you want to load your brush very heavy with paint because the less brush strokes that you have on this crackle medium, the better the effects will be. You don't want to brush a lot and you also, if you can, try to brush in the same direction. Once that dries, and you can also heat this up with your blow dryer or heat gun to speed up the drying process, look at this beautiful crackle finish we've got. And we've got some big crackle. Now I want to smooth mine out, so I'm just going to go over mine with a piece of sandpaper. I'm going to go around the whole dough bowl using my sandpaper, and I'm just going to go around, smooth it down, and give it a little bit more of a distressed look around the edges. I want to welcome everybody to the video today and thank y'all so much for clicking on it and I hope you get lots of ideas and inspiration to make and do some DIY projects for your home. Make sure to follow me on all the social medias. Make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of my family. The next project is going to be another thrifted piece, and I found this at Goodwill. This is kind of like a metal crown with a pedestal uh, base to it. I paid $3.99 for it, and I love this part right here. It reminds me of a crown, and I went out, and I did some research, and just, you know, things like this that are similar products, they are about in the $40 range. This one right here doesn't even have the base with it. It's just the crown part. But I want to go with something like this. Mine is currently black, but I want to go over it and paint it white. And then we're going to distress it really well. And then we're going to have a really pretty piece that we can set out pretty much throughout all the seasons. But I think it's going to be a great piece to use for spring and summertime. Now to get inside these little wire um, pieces right here i thought about taking it outside and spray painting it but currently in alabama we are in the middle of a snowstorm so going outside and spray paint anything is not a good idea but i just took a long handled paintbrush and it went pretty fast and i got the inside painted with a paintbrush i just went over it i covered it with a couple of coats of um, rust-oleum white linen chalk paint and now i'm going to set it back down on the base and now this is going to be so pretty i do want to go around now and distress 
um, in some areas just to bring back some of that black just to make it look like it is a little bit more rustic and old looking. Once I got the base distressed, I went around the crown and I did the same thing. Once I got both pieces distressed really well and got them the way I wanted them, I went over both pieces, the crown and the base with a baby wipe and I just wiped away any of that excess sandpaper dust. Now we've got a great piece that we can set out all year long. We can add some greenery to this. We can set this out now for spring and summer and I think it's gonna be a beautiful addition to my home decor. Now the next piece is something I was so excited to find because I always love to find things that are within the season that we're about to be in. And it was this woven braided heart, heart wreath. I only paid $2.99 for it. The tassel is missing at the bottom, but that's no problem because I'm about to show you how we can make our own tassel. I purchased this one last year from Target and I paid $15 for it. It's on the right and you can see it has a tassel, but you can see it is even much smaller. So for $15, I got the smaller one, but now it, from Goodwill, I got this one for $2.99 and we're about to make it a tassel. So it will be just like this one, but a larger size. I just took a piece of cardboard and I measured it by the tassel that was on my target wreath and I want it to be that long. So that is how long you want to wrap your twine. And I just go around my cardboard wrapping my twine around it and I don't know, you probably wanna go around maybe around 50 times. You just really have to guess at it and get your tassel as full, you know, or whatever size you want it to be. Once I felt like I had it a good size, I just clipped it off and now we're gonna tie it at the top. I just cut off a piece of twine. I'm gonna tie it really tight across the top before I cut it off the cardboard. Make sure you've got a good knot in it so it don't come loose because you want this to be really tight because this will be the top of your tassel. Once you get that done, just remove it from your cardboard and then take your scissors and cut across the bottom and cut all your tassels apart. Now I'm gonna make that little, that little loop at the top and you just wanna do the same thing. Just take a piece of twine, tie it in a knot and make your little loop at the top. And now we've got a beautiful tassel. Now, just another way that you can add a little bit more detail to your tassel. First, I'm gonna trim off some of these little straggly ends. And then I'm gonna show you, you just wanna take a hair comb and any kind of comb should work. But I'm just gonna take a little comb that I have and just go around and comb out your, your little hairs of your twine. It just makes your twine get a little fluffier and it'll just add a little bit more, you know, fluff and volume to your tassel. Once I got it combed out and I got some volume to it, then you'll want to go in and you'll kind of want to trim it up again because you're gonna have some little, you can see some little fine hairs. Trim it up and now we're just gonna tie it on to that little piece that was at the end of the wreath. We'll tie that on and now we've got a beautiful wreath that I only paid $2.99 for. Now I'm gonna show you how we can make a rag wreath using a huge chair cover that I got at Goodwill and I paid $5 for it and this is it. 
Now, this is a lot of fabric when you buy the whole chair cover, so it is a great bargain for $5. I took a Dollar Tree heart that I had, and you, you can see what kind of shape it is. If you have a shape like this, this is the way I just cut some strips. I ripped them from that um, chair cover, and then I just went around and I looped them, and I wanted to show you how I looped them the first time. Once I got up to the curve of that heart, they just started bunching up, and I didn't like it, so I didn't know how to go around and continue looping them like this and get around the curve without it looking like a big bunched up mess. So I took all that off, and I had to regroup, and I thought, you know what? We're going to turn this over now. We're going to use the crackle medium. Since this piece is a little bit thin, I poured it in a little separate container, but you can also pour it straight to the, from the bottle onto your project. I did the same thing as I did in the previous project. You just want to layer it on your base really thick, let it dry really good, and then you're ready to paint it. And the same process. Once you go to paint, just make sure to put it on, put your paint on really thick and try to go in one direction and use less brush strokes as much as you can. Once I got my heart fully painted and it dried and I did go over it with my blow dryer and look what a great crackle finish we got. I did go over it around the edges with some sandpaper just to see what it would do. So if you see some spots on there that have, you can see, you know, the base, that's where I applied some sandpaper. So if you want to go over it with sandpaper, that is optional. You can also do that. Now I'm going to tie the strips on the other side. Now, I'm not sure how many strips I've got, but I did rip them, and I ripped them one and a half inches wide, and I did 22 inches long. But, of course, you can cut yours or rip yours any size that you want to. Now, I'm not looping these. I don't want that, you know, I want it to be as less bulky as possible. So, I'm basically just tying them on and not even in a knot. And I'm putting the tied end to the, the outer edge, and that way we're just going to, you know, have these little... It's going to end up, once you get up to the curve, it's just going to make it look like it is like a rag uh, type effect. So I'm just going to keep going up the heart, and I'm just going to keep tying them on. Now, once I got back to the curve, I could run into the same problem. It looked like it was going to get bulky, and I wasn't going to be able to get around to the curve. So that's okay. We're going to make a bow. We're going to put a bow up there. We're going to leave the other side just like it is because we got some beautiful crackle effect paint going on so we don't want to really hide all that so for the for the bow i found these beautiful lace these are curtain tie backs i got four of these and all of them were 50 cents i'm just going to cut the little rings off of them i'm going to use one i'm just going to do a single loop bow i'm going to tie it up with a little piece of ribbon and that is all I'm going to do to this little heart. Now, you can also go through and you can trim, you know, your strips if you want to. I just left mine the way they were. I like the way it hung and I thought it looked good. But that is just, you know, left up to you if you want to trim it up some more. I also want to add in here, y'all, if you hear background noise in my video today with my voiceover, I apologize. But it has been pouring down rain here in Alabama for the past two days. So I apologize, but I just want to let y'all know that is what the background noise is. Now I want to take just a moment and share with y'all a new beautiful handbag I just received. This is a Teddy Blake Genuine Leather Handbag. Now y'all, I love to thrift and I love to do budget-friendly decor, but when it comes to my handbags, I do like a true top quality leather handbag. And this one right here is no exception. You can see how beautifully boxed it comes. It comes in its own dust bag. It's got the little carry handles, but if you don't want to carry it like that, and a lot of times I like to carry my, my handbags both ways, it has a detachable shoulder strap. So you, it's very easy to clip this on. So when you're out, you can carry it by the handles or you can also just put this on your shoulder. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about Teddy Blake. 
and their products because if maybe you got some money or a gift card for Christmas or maybe you're thinking about a very special Valentine's gift because Valentine's is right around the corner. Go out, check out their website and look at all the beautiful leather handbags that they have at affordable prices. Their website is loaded with all kinds of styles and all colors. The one that I have is called the Kate croco and it comes in brown camel but it comes in different assorted colors but you can see i finally after the snowstorm i finally got to take it out with me to take it shopping all the teddy blake handbags are premium italian leather so you can enjoy the luxury feel and the smell of real leather i absolutely love my new handbag and i'm going to leave the information for the one that i got down below and also a website link to Teddy Blake. Make sure to go out and check out their website because they design handbags for every style choice. And if you don't see one that you particularly like or a collection that suits your needs, subscribe to their website because they release new collections every month. Okay y'all, me and my new handbag are at Goodwill. And I did promise y'all some bonus footage. This was a Goodwill trip I took right after Christmas. I think this was like on January the 2nd. I got the footage and I never had an opportunity to put it in a video. So I wanted to put it at the end of this one. So if you are interested in this type of content, here it is. I hope you enjoy going shopping with me and enjoy seeing all the treasures I found this day. All right, let's see what 50% off they have today. It's gonna be blue tag. So that's great. Every week our store offers 50% off a certain color. So today it's gonna be blue tag, so that would be even better. So let's go in here and see what we can find. When you come in our store, the first thing you're gonna see is handbags and shoes. Then they have some specialty items over here up front. Over to the left is men's and children's. Then over here is hard goods and ladies clothes. They always have an end cap of the uh, clearance items that are 50% off. So I usually always stop here and look here first because all these items right here will be half of the ticket. So I always like to kind of browse this little section first and see if I can find any kind of little treasures here. Look at this really pretty woven. This looks like a vintage basket. It's got a wood bottom and it's all wood. This right here is blue tag. It's $2.99. So this right here would be a dollar fifty. This right here is a really pretty. I guess you call this the dwell or something. The little the lid. No, it's not chipped. It's made like that. It does have some chipping around the edges. This is really pretty. It is nineteen ninety nine, so it would be ten dollars. But I think that's a really pretty piece. This is a neat, I think this is like a liquor bottle because it says beam on it, but look at how pretty this is. It's got a really neat lid. This is $8.99, so it's kind of pricey. I'm sure this is probably some kind of like a limited edition uh, type, but I love this and I love the deer on it. This is a great piece for winter and especially for fall. Since Valentine's is our next little holiday, look at these. These are like little wedding plates with the little wedding bells. These are $1.99 each, but I think these are so cute. They have two of these. Oh, wow. Look at the treasures on this shelf. Look at this beautiful, really nice made wooden tray. I don't know if this is possibly handmade. This, no, let's see. This come from TJ Maxx for $12.99. Y'all, this is absolutely beautiful. It is green tag, so it would be regular price, but it's only $5.99. Look at these nice uh, filler balls. There's quite a few of these in here in different sizes. These are $8.99 green tag, so these would be regular price. But these always make great pieces to put in our dough bowls, and you can leave these out all year long. I looked everywhere this year for some stocking hangers that didn't cost a fortune. And look at these. These are a $1.99 green tag. They have three of these. I think these would be beautiful if we got these and maybe next year we could spray paint them white, you know, just to give them more of a neutral color. But I absolutely love these, so I think I'm going to pick these up. Look at this beautiful clock. This is $5.99 green tag, so it's regular price. But look at it, absolutely love this. So I think I'm gonna pick this up cause y'all, I love clocks and I decorate with them a lot. And of course, if they work, 
you know, they're very practical because we'll use them. So I'm going to pick this up. This piece right here is beautiful and it's also very heavy. This, I guess, is some kind of like an ornate corbel, corbel, however you say that. I always get it wrong. I think it is $12.99. I'm going to try to flip it over and see the brand. I think it just says made in China. But this would be a beautiful piece if we painted it and we upcycled this. I think this would make a beautiful piece. Look at this precious little Santa Bell. He's just like a little, I guess, little Christmas ornament. He is only 59 cents. So I'm definitely gonna get him and pack him up for next year. Here's another um, piece that's the blue and white. And this right here, I don't know, it kind of looks like it's vintage. This, I guess, is maybe a wall pocket Probably one of those little salt cellars, possibly. But this would be beautiful to set this out, put some foils or some greenery in it. Oh my goodness, so far we are having some luck with some Christmas. You know, these are great pieces to pick up and we'll be so glad we did and have them for, well, I keep saying next year, but for this year for Christmas. This is $1.99 and it's just a metal, um, was supposed to be like a, you know, hanging type postcard. So I'm definitely gonna pick this up. As y'all know, we have a, um, a secondary home on the water and I love herrings and there's a lot of herrings that come by um, the condo and we sit out and watch them and I absolutely love them. I think I'm gonna have to pick him up just to put over at the condo since I have such a herring obsession. He is $4.99. Look at these sweet little, they look like little love birds. I don't know if these are pigeons or like little quails, I don't know, but these are so cute. These are $2.99, but these are so pretty. Love birds. This is, I guess, what we call the metal aisle. So it has a ton of like silver, silver plated type items and just metal. So I always love to dig through this and today it is packed with stuff. So we're gonna go through digging through this and see what we can find. First thing I've already spotted is this really pretty cream colored like little metal basket. It's pretty heavy. I think this little insert right here, yes, it. Did. I think it comes out, yeah it does. So it is $4.99. I think this would be a great piece for us to pick up. Use this for spring, cause I can definitely see some beautiful spring florals in this. So you can see this is the Christmas aisle and you can see it is loaded down with stuff. Or do you see some little white Christmas trees? So we're definitely going to have to check those out. So let's see what we can find over here in the Christmas. Look at this cute little furry reindeer. He's cute. He's $2.99. He's got his little fur sweater on. Some little boots. He's cute. We got a big package of different kind of gold stars. These are glittery. I know I don't really do a lot of the glitter, but it's $4.99. You get it looks like a ton of... Um, little ornaments and gold stars and stuff in that package. We got a big package of like um, vinyl like placemats, lots of bags of like type ornaments, ribbons, stockings, just pretty much everything you can imagine is over here. So you can definitely tell people went through and cleaned out their stuff as they were packing up, things they weren't gonna use next year and they went on, got rid of it and donated it. This little peppermint, little candy dish is cute. Look, it is only 99 cents. That is so cute. Look at this Santa. He is a candle. That is really neat. Look, I love him. It's kind of like a little carved out pencil style um, Santa. And they just made him into a candle. He is a $1.99. I think I'm going to pick him up. Y'all know I love white. I love white Christmas trees. I love the white garland. And that is all I pretty much did this year. I think I'm gonna pick up this little white tree. It is $2.99. Comes with little lights, but I'll end up taking the little lights off and I'll be so glad that I can add this to my Christmas decorations for, for this upcoming year. I'm gonna have to say, these are the biggest rolls of ribbon I have ever seen. <laughs> Uh, they're 99 cents. That is amazing. Look at all the ribbon that's on those, y'all. That is so... They've got five of these. Wow. That's... If you were into this color, which would be really pretty for Easter in spring. Oh, let's see. Hang on a second. Oh, okay. 
I thought this was two rolls, but it's one roll. No, it is. See, look, I was thinking it was the wide, but no, it's like two rolls of this, like the skinny. So that is a super great deal. Look at these cute little bunny ears. So Easter will be here before we know it. These are neat. These are some Christmas placemats. They're back in the Luna section. I think they have four of them. They're all round and they're by the Max Studio Home Collection. But these I think are really pretty. You can flip these over after the holidays and just use the uh, neutral side to get you through winter. You really could use that side any time of the year. The price of these are, well, they don't have a price, it's tore off. But I think these are really neat. Look at this beautiful chair. I love chairs like this. They would definitely have to be upholstered, but look at the bones of it. I love the distress armrest. It says as it is, it is $29.99. These little reindeer are really cute. They are $6.99, so they're not half price, but I really do like these. These would be really cute to have these for next year, put some little ribbons around their neck. May pick these up. Okay, y'all, that's going to wrap up the video for today. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing the things I upcycled and also my trip to Goodwill to go thrift shopping. I also make sure to go out and check out Teddy Blake if you need a new handbag and check out all their collections and styles and colors. On all my videos now, I'm ending them with a Bible verse and y'all are helping me pick our favorite ones. This week, it's going to be Proverbs 31, 25 through 28. One of my viewers commented on how well she liked this one and said she had this one printed out and in her bathroom where she gets ready every morning and she can look at it and it just inspires her throughout the day. Make sure to comment below what your favorite Bible verse is because y'all are helping me pick the ones that I put in my videos. Make sure to go over and subscribe to my channel and make sure to connect with me on all the social medias. Until the next video, I hope y'all have a great week. I love y'all and I'll see y'all again soon.